cook down. Put some black pepper on it. Um, if you need extra salt, put some in there. Like I always say, if you need more, put more. But you don't want to put too much because then you're, you know, eating too much salt. That's yeah. a lot of blood I say put the issues. salt and I say fry the okra so, to it's like a potato <laughs> chip. <laughs> I want okra <laughs> chips. Oh, uh-oh. Oh. Coming in hot. So that's it. That's I mean, what that's we do. Put it on the truck. Chip. Put it on the truck. Y'all heard it here first. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to have yeah. some. We're going to have Health a lot drop of action going Shining like a diamond that's already home. Trying to reach the top of my soul, boy. She got perfect timing, I'ma always know how to bring the top of the soul bone. And, and it don't taste, it don't taste healthy. It, 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 it tastes good like the unhealthy it, stuff. Yeah, yeah. It, it don't taste good. Like it, it, it tastes like she put in a lot of work too. It, it, it tastes like she put some unhealthy in stuff, but it's gonna be a nice Yes, and it's very simple. It's it's very simple to eat healthy. Uh, and that's what a lot of people don't realize. Mm. Um, I think that when you're eating so much meat, it mm. can just be just consumed wow. in your body. Talk on it. And that's just, it's disgusting when you see the actual the buildup. When you see the parasites. When you, when you see, when you're pulling out a parasite out of someone's Straight nose invasion. by mm. eating swine. And invasion. that to me, the most high does not want us to eat swine. There's been Thanks. there's so many stories that we hear um, in the Torah, oh. just oh. signifying to not eat it. They would rather die than eat swine, mm. and that's one of the main culprits that people don't realize. If you just stop eating that alone for yeah. to start off with, that's then most you're it. good to go, oh. and then you transition here and there and. No one's forcing you to do anything that you don't want to do, but at least give it a try. Mm -hmm. That's all we could say. Mm -hmm. And if you happen to like it, if you happen to like the spices attached to these vegetables, these beans, and an assortment of a plethora of different things that you can, you know, eat um, rather than meat, rather than chicken, beef, whatever, then you're good to go. You're starting off and you're treating your body right, and that's what it's about. Because like without what first without the veggies or the meat, <laughs> <laughs> the veggies. <laughs> talk about the garden of Eden, no. Without that salt, without that onion powder on that chicken, hey. it's going to taste bland, and taste that we right. know for a fact. Some, some stuff. So um, I just wanted to, you know, highlight that. And when I'm a bottom from Trinidad, uh, I was born there, I was raised there, and then I moved to Brooklyn, New York, where everyone goes. Apparently. Hey. <laughs> Then spent uh, some time Shotgun over Brooklyn. there. Welcome to moved to Boston. Then I'm here. Beat town. What do do? <laughs> so made it to Cali. So um, this is a little bit about me. Um, I grew up eating veggies every single day. The only time we ate meat was on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. And um, if that, it was less, you know, we had our own chickens. We knew where it was coming from. We raised them. Uh, we had a no big clothes. yard, two mango trees, and... You want to go eat some veggies you pick some okra you pick this from your from your garden and i had that luxury you know what i mean growing up and a lot of people here don't but uh there are ways to implement your garden there's different things that you could do your husband does that you know what i mean you Shout do that brother nature you know a lot of people grow their own food and that's what it's about at the end of the day that's what it's about so um, I'll discuss some of these recipes that I have, Let's get it. and um, Let's get it. we'll go from there. You're so about to make us hungry. Yeah, after this, I got a whole feast waiting at home. So we're, we're gonna show y'all. You know, you are yes. gonna see what she do. Yes. We're, we're gonna snap to the kitchen in a minute. Yes. So uh, I started off with a red lentil soup. Oh no, red lentils. Let's talk about these red lentils. Lentils in general are bomb talk if you flavor them right. So these red lentils now I made, they have, they're have they packed with fiber. They have, um, they're very high in vitamin um, B9 that carries the folic acid for pregnant women. Yeah. And we need them in general in two yeah, for yeah. healthy brain development, everything. Yeah. Even as an adult, you need healthy brain development. That's a fact. <laughs> so, That's a and what's interesting is that they contain, like pound by pound, they contain more protein than steak if you have a piece of steak oh, in front of you. Yeah. Way more protein than that. So a lot of people don't realize that. And we They're packed Jacob with protein. The people and lentils exactly. And the yeah, there you go. There you go. Uh -huh. So um, what I did with them, they're very quick to cook. A lot of people put them in salads. Just, you really just blench them in some water mm -hmm. if you're trying to put them in salads and stuff. But I made a soup out of it. 
So um, I wash them first, really give them a good rinse, get out all those impurities. And um, then you want to boil them in some water. Um, just about maybe like five cup, cu cups or so, depending on how much you're making. I usually do a whole pack because my family loves lentils. So I, do, I did about six cups, and then I add more water to it, just in case I want to make it more watery, like soupy, that type of stuff, that consistency. Now I throw some onions in there, about one onion, and then about four garlic cloves. I grate them in there. Then I take those um, Goya Sazon packets. I put about two of those in there. The sazon. The sazon. The sazon. Stuff right <laughs> and uh, put some cilantro in there, a handful of cilantro. And I usually also put kumantro, kulantro, which is bandanya in my country, we call it. It's part of the cilantro family. Mm. Um, it looks a little bit different. It's also called sawtooth How you say in a lot of Asian cultures. Bandanya. Bandanya. Like bandana. Bandanya. No, like bandanya. <laughs> So that's what it is. And uh, some salt, um, about a tablespoon or so of garlic powder and onion powder. I always use garlic powder and onion powder because I think it has a deeper le level of flavor attached to it. Mm -hmm. And then um, I did about two tablespoons of chopped thyme, fresh thyme, and uh, a little bit of coconut aminos or soy sauce, depending on which one you have. Mm -hmm. You let just let that boil down um, until it's softened, really, until the texture that you want is achieved through your taste buds, through everything. And so if you need more extra salt, just put a little bit in there. Um, everyone likes less salt, more salt. So I just kind of tell you, if you need more, put some more in there. Um, but that's about it. And just let it cook down and um, get that soup te texture, tendency, all that stuff. And you eat it with rice or more veggies on the side. Mm -hmm. So that is the red lentil soup. Okay. And I also made some uh, okra. I love okra. It's rich in vitamin K and yeah. vitamin C, and it's great for the immunity. Right. And um, a lot of people don't know about this, but you can also do okra water. Now, okra water, it helps with the absorption of sugar in your body. So when the sugar goes into your intestines, it gets distributed to your bloodstream. In that sense, it can actually spike whatever... Um, whatever that's in your, the blood sugar the, the, itself always, can spike doing, it up, mm -hmm. whatever you're eating. So if you help, if you drink okra water, it helps decrease it. Mm -hmm. And it's actually good for people with diabetes. Oh, I so, wonder, is that, so is that like the, the slime? Would you I make think, that with I think so. I'm not quite yeah, certain not, about that, but a lot of people like do drink slime. okra water. I'm not, I'm not a slimy, like <laughs> mushrooms. <laughs> okra is difficult, but the way she make the fried yeah, okra. Yeah, and I'll, I'll rock describe with how it. I do that now. It's a superfood. So I chop it up really, small like in tiny little slithers mm -hmm. and what I do I usually put some um, canola oil avocado oil whatever you're using mm -hmm. throw, toss them in there um, then I let it fry down when it fries down just enough to not release or get rid of all of the Slime. greatness about it all the vitamins deep down inside of it you don't want to fry it down all the way. You want to still retain some of those vitamins because mm -hmm. you, essentially you're just eating a bunch of fried stuff. Right. So you still want to keep it, you know, Hel as healthy good. As possible. About maybe like 15 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. And um, then you want to start chopping up some potatoes. So I chopped up some potatoes. We call this in my country fry aloo and okra. Oh, yeah, we yeah. call it okra. Yeah, aloo. I yeah. remember that name. Aloo is potatoes. Yeah. So I chopped up the potatoes, maybe one potato per like a pound of okra. And, um, then I just chopped it up really, really slithered in like almost like triangle pieces. So it kind of creates um, a slither of potato dispersed among mm -hmm. the okra. Mm -hmm. And it fries down with it and it cooks um, with it as well. I throw some salt on there and some garlic, uh, maybe about four tables, four um, cloves. I grate them in there. And if you want, you can put some hot peppers in there. 
mm -hmm. jalapeno, a, a bird's eye pepper, or some sort. Yes, I and so for and me, she, that sounded like a complicated process, but she <laughs> makes this stuff look so easy. It doesn't take I'm it doesn't you. take a lot of time. It really does oh not. The only time consuming part to. would be chopping up the okra yeah. mm. and just making sure you don't cut yourself because it's like. <laughs> but at the same point, just know that you're putting something good in your body, and that's what it's about. Okay. That's what it's about. That's key. And um, you just let that cook down. Put some black pepper on it. Um, if you need extra salt, put some in there. Like I always say, if you need more, put more. But you don't want to put too much because then you're, you know, eating too much salt. That's yeah. a lot of blood I say put the salt and I say fry the okra so. to it like a potato chip. <laughs> hey. I want okra <laughs> chips. Oh, uh-oh. Oh. Coming in hot. So that's it. That's Coming what you have. Put, put it on the truck. Put it on the truck. I heard first. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to have okay. some. We're going to have Health a lot drop of action going on. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, to that's this. the okra. So I did a, also a new uh, recipe today okra that we're going to try. Uh -oh. It's a stir fry with asparagus, mm -hmm. Tuscan kale, which is the softer kale, mm -hmm. um, not the curly type of kale. Mm -hmm. It's called lastinato kale or Italian kale. Mm -hmm. And um, you just take about four of those leaves, take off the uh, actual leaves, discard the stems or use them for soup in something else. And... Um, a bundle of uh, asparagus, chop it up, and I also put so, a half an onion in there, three garlic cloves, and one tablespoon of ginger. And um, what else did I put in there? How would you? I, how is this a Trinidadian? How do you know how to cook this kale, this Italian kale? Like how'd you? Just off of just scientific stuff. <laughs> but you're experimenting. So you you're experimenting. You're making yeah, you have to. I love to go. I let me tell it. you something. I love to go to the grocery store. Mm -hmm. The reason why, when I go into the produce aisle or the produce section, I just see, my mind works crazy. I just see things going together. Mm -hmm. And that's how I create my recipes, to be honest. I don't just sit down with a pen you. and paper and go, okay, let's do it. Right, right, right. That's, not how I, that's not how my, my mind works, at mm -hmm. least. I like to visualize things. I like to see things. I like to feel. I'm a feeler. Because for you to end up with Italian kale, yeah, you know that's that's like, how I cook, and that's how I that's how I see it. I visualize it, nice. and that's how I come together, creating my recipes. Everyone has their own unique things, and mm -hmm. that's just mine. And so uh, it works for us. <laughs> so keep doing what you yeah. Doing. So it's oh. asparagus, Tuscan kale, carrots, onions, garlic, ginger, in a uh, soy sauce. And um, or you can use coconut aminos if you don't want to do the soy. Mm -hmm. You put some garlic powder in there, onion powder. Um, you can throw some hot peppers in there. Come some crushed red peppers work good, but I omitted it because we got kids. kids. And stuff, you know what I mean? So we got tie. These kids. <laughs> tie back down. So those are the recipes mm -hmm. that I did. Right now. There you go. Yeah. So we got red so lentils. Bold. Some like okra and the asparagus. To feed the soul. And that was Zahn it. Cook. Yeah, 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 give it up to Zahn You can catch it on Zahn Cooking with Chef Candy. 432 to drop. Exactly. Exclusively on 432 to drop. And also posting pictures and videos, etc. on our Instagram. Our handle, 432 the drop. Yeah, so, Candy's the one that handles all the videos. Anybody want to share? Man. Anybody? Any recipes out there? Hit her up. Yeah, 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 yeah. hit us sure. up. I would love to hear about DMS Direct them. before three to the job, and this is my wife for fourteen years. You know what I mean? So I've been eating good for fourteen years. Congratulations, y'all just had an anniversary. Hello, wow. Congratulations on that. Yeah, well, that go all the way to Trinidad to get some fried okra chips. Yeah, 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 Trinidad, but all right, you got to try. Let's see, Shining like a diamond, that's already home. Trying to reach the top of my soul, bone. She got perfect timing, I'ma always know How to bring the top of the soul, bone.